Hello and the warmest of welcomes to historic Bangkok as the top tier badminton action just keeps on coming. It's the Toyota Thailand Open and we are live from the nation's capital here at the Impact Arena. The lights dazzling inside the auditorium. There'll be some dazzling players on show through the day. You'll see 10 matches live from number one court, which is where we are this morning. If you're with us last week, well, what a tremendous tournament the uh, Yonex Thailand Open was, and we're hoping to follow it up with more of the same this week. Action goes from today right through until the finals on Sunday. Two courts are being televised for you. And then, of course, next week, we've got the World Tour Finals delayed from Guangzhou. They'll be here next week. Well, here's uh, our lineup. Then we kick off with last week's mixed doubles champs, Purvaranya Crow and Terra Chanatai. A tough ask then for Tabling and Peak. The world women's number one is up next. Tai Zhu Ying aiming to reach back to back finals. Katathong of Thailand is her first hurdle. Another Thai outsider to follow, this time in the men's singles, Sitikon Tamasin facing former world number one Kadambi Srikant. Then we'll focus on doubles in the women's event, Birch and Smith of England take on the Olympic quarter finalists Hu and Yap before we'll see a battle of the over 30s in the men's competition. Go and Tan, fresh from making the final here last week. Well, plenty more to come after that. Uh, Jill Clark will be here to take you through these matches along with Morton Frost. You can see well, we've got some terrific action there. Ratchanok Inter, and always worth watching. The uh, balletic Thai player and also the top three uh, player in the men's draw, Anders Antonsen, seeded three. Uh, he'll be match number 10 on number one court. Let's check how the mixed doubles draw pans out. Then in this particular section, we're on the top match. And as you can see, the winners there will face a non-seed in the second round. Looks like a decent path through, on paper at least, for Puvaranya Crow and Terra Tanachai, but never know. My name is Trevor Harris. Alongside me is Steen Pedersen. You'd have thought, Steen, that Puvaranya Crow and Terra Tanachai be in great heart after their display, well, just a few days ago when they won that final. And they must be seriously eyeing up a back to back success here. Yeah, I'm sure they will. Um of course, fantastic for them to win their first 2000 tournament on uh, on home soil. On the other hand, they were under pressure in the semi-final down two match points. So I don't think it's a foregone conclusion that uh, they're uh, going to do well in uh, this tournament. Also, the emotions from last week. So how well will they bounce back uh, from that great tournament win? Players arriving on court, as you can see. Robin Tabling and Serena Peek from the Netherlands. If you weren't watching uh, our coverage last week, well, first of all, why not? But secondly, every conceivable COVID protocol is being observed here, not just at the venue, but in the hotel where all the players are staying. We just finished the two-week quarantine period, in fact. Three matches between the pair, and we love it is in favour of the Thai pair. <laughs> Using these shuttle dispensers rather than getting the shuttle from the service judge, just obviously Anything that reduces hand-to-hand -hand contact is a good thing. The current circumstances. Pervaranya Crows, 23 now. They are ranked three in the world, and you heard Steen say took down their first Super 1000 tournament on Sunday. World Championship silver medal just a couple of years ago, this pair. And one of the features of this Thai pair is the, the work of Sapsiri Terra Chanatai at the net. Watching her last week, she was absolutely top class in terms of anticipation. 
She was actually a youth Olympic singles champion way back 12 years ago. Played their first tournament together, these two, in 2017. Well, it was their first win, actually, in the Swiss Open. And then a couple of years ago, which was kind of the last full season, 2019, they had an excellent campaign. They won the Singapore Open, the Career Open, two S500 tournaments, and a Super 300 in Macau as well. There's Robin Tabling. They rack 16 in the world, which uh, is their best. European Championship bronze tackling one with uh, Yellow Mass back in 2018. Also runner-up in the Dutch Open men's doubles a few years ago as well. So a very competent performer, Tabling. I watched their uh, first round match last week and there was definitely uh, some promise there. Selina Peak. Not far off 30. Actually been national mixed doubles champion with three different partners, Peak. Lost to Chan and Gov Malaysia last week in straight games, but it maybe wasn't quite as easy as the scoreline suggested. Liana from Indonesia is the chair umpire and we've got uh, Botswana and Kabatsile in the service judges chair. And you'd think, Stine, if there is going to be an upset here, you would kind of expect that Tabling and Peak will probably have to make a, a pretty rapid start and just sow a few seeds of doubt in the, in the Thai players' minds. Uh, uh, I could easily see um, the Dutch get off to, to a good start here. Maybe uh, two days since they won on the very same court here, the final against uh, Jordan and Octavianti. So. Uh, it's sometimes tough, but I mean, <laughs> it's something you can live with when you won a tournament, but it's sometimes tough that you have to play so uh, quickly again after a tournament. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Robin Tabeling and Serena Bay, Netherlands. And on my left, the Japan, Kuaparanuko, and Sapjiri, Taira Tanatai, Thailand. Sapjiri Taira Tanatai Tuse, Tuselina Pig, Lobo, Play. So here we go then, first shuttle hit in anger in this Toyota Thailand Open. Oh. Service over, one, love. One thing, as far as the Dutch pair were concerned today, they need to cut out unforced errors and have any chance of forcing the upset. Well, that's just classic Terra Chanatai. So what she does is predatory around the net. She, she actually is um, an all-round um, player, uh, remarkably um, become remarkably good at the net, as you mentioned um, in the um, early stages, Trevor, that um, she had been a, um, a women's singles player earlier on, so um, she's also um, comfortable on the back court and that um, is something that they can benefit from as he's very very agile uh, whereas um, the Dutch the Dutch pair is more like the traditional Service formation in mixed doubles with Selena Peek at the net than uh, Robin Tabling uh, on the front court and if it's not that 
information, they will try to um, switch and, and try to get it. Uh, Selena Peak clearly has her advantages on the front court, even though she's an accomplished uh, women's doubles player on, on European um, standards as well, won the European Games back in 2019 with um, Cheryl Sain. Well, that'll give her a bit of confidence. Nice winner from Peak. Well, that was something of an open invitation, which he was never going to decline. Six, Just see that initial movement from Terra Chanatai. She kind of has a second sense as to where that shuttle's going. Right time, right place again. start for um, Tara Chanachai and uh, well, I guess one of the um, advantages they've, they've had is that they haven't had to travel since their win on oh. the Sunday. Normally on a regular tour pre-COVID-19 players would travel after finishing one tournament but uh, that's not been the case here they've just been able to go back to their hotel room and um, celebrate well scoreboard has a slightly less lopsided look after back-to-back -back points for the Dutch pair and obviously further on you throw in Terra Chanatai will be here for the World Tour Finals next week. Oh. Oh. Probably hear the uh, heartbeat going on in the background. That's on court two. Each pair has two challenges per game. We can get Hawkeye involved. Good work from the back court. Seven, 
That's pretty much where we want to place it in the middle of um, the trim lines at the side. Not uh, go totally for the lines if you can avoid it. That would uh, help prevent uh, mistakes. What a great example that point was of the way that Puvarani Crow and Terra Chenatai just dovetail and caught. See that little switch there. So a handy lead then for the number one seeds, 11 7. They have the advantage at the break. ดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูด
either play back flat, fast paced, or find the gaps on the uh, mid chord. Yeah, the third shot from uh, Selena Peak uh, again be becomes a little bit uh, too long, and uh, they can go into these flat exchanges where I think. Tara Chanacha and Pova Nukuru, they have the upper hand. Everything Selena Peak does from uh, the net in the beginning of the rally should just be blocks. Oh, yeah, that's well played. Oh. Lovely touch from Pova Nukuru. Cabling back on his Heels a fraction, but he wouldn't have got there anyway. So it looks to be last rights here for the Dutch pair in this opening game. <laughs> Total air shot from uh, Puaranukro. Don't see that very often, do you? No. Unless you're watching me play golf. I guess if it's going to happen, do it when you're 19-10 up. I might presume I'm looking for my contact lens and I don't want one of those shots. I well, pretend I was looking for my contact lens even though I don't wear one. <laughs> I suspect this is just about scoreline respectability. Well played. Plum on the line. Fantastic shot. So eight game points then for the top seeds. Stay of execution in all likelihood. On the line. 14. Yeah, that's a risky 20. shot uh, playing with the drift there by uh, Selena Peak, but uh, managed to uh, stop it just inside the line. Hey, there's a challenge there. Well, they are going to have a look, and this looked this looked pretty close. I mean, it will be game if the call was correct. But let's just check in with Hawkeye and have a look. Yeah, by a considerable margin. So first blood then to Purvarani Crow and Terra Chanatai. 21-14. Tabling and peak playing catcher. Zij moeten wat meer doorslaan, maar gaat hij misschien ook wat meer op het net leggen? Ja, mee eens. Dus laten we iets verder naar voren stappen. En ik, ja. iets, ik pak die ballen iets meer aan, juist mm -hmm. nu. Dus als ik dit ga blokken. Zit zij er bovenop? Ja, en dan gaat het in het net en dat soort dingen. Dus Precies. ik ga daar iets. Maar als je dan voelt zeg maar, dat hij hem door je heen legt mm -hmm. en voelt dat ik dit doe. Ik denk, ik ga dus versnellen, dus kom uit. Uit, ja, ja, aan de andere kant. Dus op het moment dat je voelt dat ik zo'n half veldbal zeg maar, krijg. En gaat aanpakken en ja. weg. Ja, ja, en als ik een blok heb, heb je wel weer tijd om terug te komen. En ja. dan, die versnellingen door je heen, die heb ik dan wel. Wat we nu ook kunnen doen af en toe, die service wel een keer een push doen. Ja. En dan remt hij een beetje af. Ik heb vijf lifts uitgeslagen. Ja, klopt.
Quote one twenty seconds. Quote one twenty seconds. Second game. Go no ball. Well, my Dutch, I'm afraid, is non-existent, so I can't tell you what Peek and Tabling were discussing, but if you were their coach, Steen, what would you be saying to them at the moment? Yeah, I would say that they really, really need to get on a, um, a uh, clean attack, so to speak. Selena Peek needs to win the front court uh, game uh, so that um, Robin Tabling can... Um, get out of the flat game that he's forced into at the moment even though he won that one uh, I would also ask them to move up um, their stance a little bit um, move the formation closer to the net hoping that the ties could uh, have difficulties playing the backcourt with accuracy but I would also be a little bit worried that they might actually be able to do it because they've played a lot of matches in the arena now and, um, so they should be accustomed to the, uh, the playing circumstances here. I don't understand Dutch either, so I don't know what they said. I could hear, I could recognize words of it because it's not that too different from uh, Danish. And actually, um, both Dutch players, they play in uh, Danish uh, clubs and Danish badminton league. Selena Peek plays in my club, but uh, we never speak Dutch. We speak uh, English when, um, when she's there. Well, it's a good start for the, for those two. Our first four points of the second game. Oh, that's well played. Good movement between the uh, two Thai players. So fast on his feet for Wadanu so even if you play uh, a well-placed shot to the mid-court area, he's still fast enough to uh, reach it in a high position so that he has opportunities to play back in, in flat game. And, um, and that's play. where they are both really, really good, both uh, he and um, Teletonsai. That's a nickname in... Um, oh! On the Thai national that team. Most so of the players have nicknames, and Five. when you see the Five. length of their given names and surnames, you understand why. So uh, these two players, they're known as Bass and uh, Popo. And uh, Sapsare Terachanatai is the one that's um, nicknamed Popo. That's one play. Well, whatever it was they were discussing during that interval has clearly paid off so far. Great leap from Tabling and Pete tidied up the pieces. Yeah, we can see that uh, uh, it was very short the lift from uh, Thai pair. Tumbling. Seven, Actually formed a partnership, um, the Dutch pair, uh, by a little bit of uh, coincidence or hard luck for Jaco Arns, the former partner of uh, Selena Peek, he had to go through a, um, a knee surgery. I actually don't know if it was knee surgery. He had to take a break uh, from badminton. He's got um, um, weak knees, so to speak. Yeah, that was back in. Um, December 2018 and um, to keep um, Selena Peek Three. active she played a couple of tournaments Three. with Robin Tabling and, and did so well that they decided um, that, that was going to be the partnership that we go going to go forward with in the Olympic qualification period Four. 
Peak felt the, the brunt of that Perver anything throw shot. Not a big man, he's only 5'7 per run you crow, but got great spring. Gets huge amounts of power on those jump smashes. Oh! Seven is over. Nine. Four. It would be a good thing for the Dutch to um, get some variation on their service returns so that uh, they could uh, move Poiranukro back. Create some space between him and uh, Taylor Chanachai in the uh, service situation. Moment, he's simply too quick on those uh, mid court replies from um, Peak and uh, Tabling. It's beautifully placed, and once again, great Seven, teamwork between those nine. ties. Supports his partner, Pavara Nukro, from the mid court. That means Tena Chanachai, he can focus solely on uh, top of the tape. Nine. She knows that it's got to be really accurate. surprise when he misses one like that from pretty close range too that one Three previous matches between these pairs have finished in Matthias' favour in straight games. Oh! Amazing. It wasn't more than, what, three or four minutes ago that the Dutch pair had a five-point lead. That's evaporated completely. And outside the court, uh, Robin Tabling is a little bit... Uh, not outside the court, outside the picture. Robin Tabling was a little bit confused. He was already on uh, his way to the kit boxes. Thought that uh, it was 11 10. It is now, but it's a very slender lead for the Dutch pair at the mid game break. Ja, ze neemt zoveel risico door er helemaal in te vliegen. 
Ja, ze zijn ook iets meer in de verdediging nu. Ja. Terwijl ze eigenlijk helemaal niet wegliften. Laten we toch proberen om door te blijven stappen. Voor het halfveld. Had je daarna ja. deed eerste verdediging en daarna die ietsje voorbij haar. Laat hem daarna maar heel die veel plaats, ja. ja. Dat werkt eigenlijk best wel goed. Ik heb ook het idee dat het wel heel goed werkt. Een snellere lift af en toe. Ja, zeker dat hoofd niet moeilijk Reception by Sylvia uh, Peak. So they don't mind having uh, Puawara Nukru in the front. 11, I think it was actually a. Um, our colleague uh, Morten Frost uh, also suggested that they could utilize more when um, they were commentating on uh, the final oh! on Sunday because um, of the versatility of um, such a way she can play both front and uh, back court well. Let's push there from Tabling. Now can it can they consolidate on the serve? That's a good block. Ah, that was a really good idea from uh, Robin Tabling. I think that was a really really good rally uh, from a Dutch perspective. Um, he moved forward there. In hindsight, perhaps could have blocked it, but I, I don't blame him going for the chance because um, they've played their way to it. That's a fantastic return. Just keeping themselves at arm's length at the moment. Play. Came off a good service from uh, Selena Peak. Oh. Hey. Well, now, genuine opportunity here for oh. Tabling and Peak. Uh, two of their losses, uh, two of the three losses. Uh, came uh, in the first two tournaments they played together when they were actually uh, not a regular combination. Um, so it's always more difficult when you haven't really set up a game plan together. Oh, was he jumping there? Easily half a court. So quick coming from the uh, left side, neck corner to the uh, forehand, back court corner. Puavaranukro. Well, again, right idea, but didn't quite Four get it right. Seventeen. They have shown peak and tabling that they can beat the best players in the world. Beat um, Jordan Octavianti um, in uh, 2019 and in uh, All England this year. They beat um, double world champions Jiang Siwei and uh, Huang Yachong in the second round. Coverage. Trouble for Anukro. Oh, that's fantastic. 
15, 17. It's almost a smile of admiration from Peak, even though yeah. she'd lost the point. She knew how good a shot that was. Four straight points for the top seats. Terrific defence from Peak. No wonder we saw a fist pump from 18, her there. 16. haven't led at any stage in this game so far the ties that's a great backhand shot 19 Looks so 18. casual Shot straight down the middle brings up two match Let's points see. for Puvarenia Crow and Terra Chanatai. Oh. And that's the good service return, in my opinion. So 19-20. Really good um, height and uh, trajectory, not oh. too high. Putting pressure on uh, Povaranukro and not able to intercept. Oh. Well, that'll do it. And quick fire time as well. Much better performance from Tabling and Peak in that second game. But in the end, it was a case of class telling. 21-19 in that uh, second game. And they haven't wasted too much time in securing their passage through to the second round, the top seeds. So 21-14, 21-19 in just 36 minutes on court. Well, don't go away because coming up next, we've got the world number one in the women's game. Tai Zhu Ying, top seed here, of course. Stay with us.
Well, a warm welcome back to Bangkok and the Impact Arena on the first day of the Toyota.